everyone. This is Shantini from Edureka and in today's session we will learn how to create a chatbot using TensorFlow. Now before we get into the details of chatbot, let's first find out why do we need them. Now the first chatbot was named Eliza that blurted out canned lines for certain keywords using programmed scripts. Many users developed an affinity towards her even after knowing that the program simply followed a script. Since then, Chatbots have advanced beyond scripts and rules. The new generation chatbots can encourage human like conversations with the help of artificial intelligence. Now it all started with one question. Can machines think? The concept of chatbots came into existence to check whether the machines could fool users and make them think that they are actually talking to humans and not robots. On the other hand, with the success rate of chatbots, different companies started using the machines for having conversations with their customers about everything which made their work simpler and reduced the need of manpower. So now that we know the importance of chatbots, let's have a deeper insight about what are these and how do they work. The evolution of artificial intelligence has seen its peak in the recent times and chatbots are a faint splash on a huge wave of progress. A chatbot is an assistant or an automated system that communicates with us through text messages. It integrates into websites, applications or instant messengers and helps entrepreneurs get closer to customers. Now let's have a look at the number of steps involved in the working of a chatbot. Now the first step is to convert the user's text or speech into structured data in order to find the related answers. Some of the natural language processing steps include sentiment analysis, tokenization, normalization and dependency parsing. Now chatbots process the text presented to them by the user before responding according to a complex series of algorithms that interprets and identifies what the user said, then infers what they mean and determine a series of appropriate responses based on this information. Any system or application that relies upon a machine's ability to parse human speech is likely to struggle with the complexities inherent in elements of speech such as metaphors and similes. Now despite these considerable limitations, chatbots are becoming increasingly sophisticated, responsive and more human like. Now it provides a real time customer experience along with universal content accessibility. It is believed that chatbots will take over almost 85% of all customer service interactions by 2020. Now training a chatbot happens at much faster and larger scale than teaching a human. Humans customer service representatives are given manuals while the customer support chatbot is fed with thousands of conversation logs and from those logs the chatbot is able to understand what type of question requires what type of answers. Now the working of all these steps together provides us the required chatbot which responds to the users or customers and makes them believe that they are talking to humans and not robots. So we have talked about the steps involved in the working of a chatbot, but there are certain things that need to be kept in mind while creating one. The five important key points that should be considered for a chatbot to work perfectly or more like a human includes the volume of conversations, Consistency of the agents, training the agents, length of conversations and complexity of the incoming and outgoing questions. So far we have talked about how the chatbots work and how they are used to initiate conversations with users or customers. Now let's take a look at some of the applications of chatbot in our everyday life. Ordering our favorite food has become much easier now. We can take help from the online assistant and select our option for delivery. A few quick steps through messenger and your pizza will be delivered at your doorstep. If you are looking for the perfect house or a society, the chatbot will also work as your personal assistant to find that perfect house for you in your desired locations without much hard work. Now we all have booked flight tickets online, but with the help of a chatbot, the work has become even more simple. All you have to do is provide your destination and it will find you the flights suitable for your journey and you can book your tickets with just one click. Not just that, it can also help you in selecting the dress you want or the shirt that will fit you. They can help you in finding the right product based on your preferences. The chatbots are not only helpful in case of food delivery or booking flight tickets, they provide a great assistance in case of emergency as well. 
It provides you with all the information that you would need during a medical emergency such as nearest hospitals working hours medicine delivery and a lot more. Now let's discuss the layers of chatbot in details. The first layer is the natural language processing layer. Now it is the ability of a computer program to understand human language as it is spoken and it is a component of artificial intelligence. Now the machine interprets the important elements of the human language sentence such as those that might correspond to specific features in a data set and returns an answer. Now there are two main components of NLP. The first one is the natural language understanding. It maps the given input in natural language into useful representations and analyzes different aspects of the language. The second component natural language generation is the process of producing meaningful phrases and sentences in the form of natural language from some internal representation. Now this involves text planning sentence planning and text realization. The next layer is the neural networks. It is an information processing paradigm that is inspired by the way brain processes information. Now neural depicts neurons and network is the connection between them. It has the remarkable ability to derive meaning from complicated or imprecise data and can be used to extract patterns and detect trends that are too complex to be noticed by either humans or other computer techniques. Now the next layer is deep learning. It is a subset of machine learning and artificial intelligence that has networks capable of learning unsupervised form of data that is unstructured or unlabeled. It is a subfield of machine learning concerned with algorithms inspired by the structure and function of the brain called the artificial neural networks. Now in traditional machine learning techniques most of the applied features need to be identified by a domain expert in order to reduce the complexity of the data and make patterns more visible to learning algorithms to work. The biggest advantage of deep learning algorithms is that they try to learn high level features from data in an incremental manner. Now this eliminates the need of domain expertise and hardcore feature extraction. Now another important layer is TensorFlow. Machine learning is a complex discipline, but implementing machine learning models is far less daunting and difficult than it used to be. Thanks to machine learning frameworks such as Google's TensorFlow that ease the process of acquiring data, training models, serving predictions and refining future results. It is an open source library for numerical computation and large scale machine learning. TensorFlow bundles together a slew of machine learning and deep learning models and algorithms that makes them useful by way of a common metaphor. So now let's see how all these layers combine together and set the workflow of chatbots. The first step is to determine the role of your bot and set goals. Be specific about what you want your bot to do and then evaluate and pick a channel. The next step is to create the conversational architecture. It basically organizes the content and finds the best way toward the bots answers. The dialogue flow goes into the detail to implement the bot. Now one of the most important resources you will need to assemble is a collection of question variations reflecting the different ways your customer can ask for something. Now the next step is to pick a platform and a development approach. The chatbot needs to determine the intent of the sentence and extract data from the sentence. Next is the implementation of the dialogue flow and to engineer the natural language understanding. If you have a platform based on machine learning, you will provide it with example sentences for each possible intent. So now in the final step, you have to perform internal testing and revise your use case detection. Now to ensure a successful outcome of your chatbot deployment, view the creation as an iterative process. Now because of the nature of human language and the infinite possible expressions of every question or intent, the goal of 100% accuracy is an unattainable one, even for a human being. So let's have a look at the code that will make our chatbot talk to us. So here we have a set of reflections that trains the chatbot to reply in a particular manner. Now in the multifunction called class, we generate the session ID for any string in order to join or split the sentences which is then matched with the trained data set for similar answers. So once we are done normalizing now we will substitute words in the string according to the specified reflections. 
Now after this the client statements will be substituted into responses so that the chatbot can answer according to a particular query. Once we are done with this now it's time to generate a response to the user input. The user would be expecting an accurate answer from the chatbot. Now once the mapping of the words and the strings are done the chatbot is ready to hold a conversation with a human being and reply to all the queries. So now let's see how the demo of our chatbot works. So let me start by responding to its question and then see how it responds to my queries. So we can see that the chatbot will not provide a hundred percent accurate response or exactly the way we wanted to reply, but it must understand the question and provide a satisfying response. Now we can see that our chatbot is up and running and it is able to hold a conversation with us with the help of all the layers involved in the working of our chatbot such as NLP neural networks deep learning and tensorflow. So I hope you all understood how all these layers work together in machine learning and helps in building a robot that can almost talk like a human being. So that's all for today's session. Stay tuned for more till then. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.